Hello everybody, this is your Tiny Coder back again with another coding session. This session, I'll show you guys a game using Python. This game is made using Pygame. So first of all, what is Pygame? Pygame is a module in Python that we can use to make games. So here is an example of Pygame, which is the Pong game. So if I go and run this, Then you can see that first there's a menu and it says red player. And if you want to go up, you have to click on the up arrow key. And if you want to go down, then you have to click on the down arrow key. And for the blue player, if you want to go up, then you have to press the W key. And if you want to go down, then you have to press the S key. And then there's the play and the quit. So if you want to quit, then you can click on this. And if you want to play the game, then you can click on this button so if I just go and click on play there's the game and now if I just go and purposely make blue in the game for example so one more thing that you noticed is that the blue score increases by one every time it hits the edge and it crosses the red and I'm just going to go and let's blue score again and once it got three, it said blue wins. And then it's the end of the game. So let's see how we can make this game using Pygame. But first, let's see how to install the Pygame. So to install Pygame, first you have to go to your prompt. Then you have to type in pip install and then you say Pygame. And then you click on enter and I already have it so I do not have to install it so that is how you install it after that what you have to do is that you're gonna go and have to just go and initialize it so for that you say import Pygame and then after that you're gonna go and say from pygame dot locals import star and then at last you're gonna say pygame dot init so this just initializes all the pygame settings so we're done with our initialization after this we're gonna have to go and do the minimum code so for the minimum code we do screen equals game dot display dot set underscore mode and inside that you're gonna pass in a tuple value saying 600 comma 600 and then you're gonna go and say for example high game dot dot display dot set underscore caption and inside that you're gonna say for example pong by tiny coder so in short this is basically we're just going and setting up the window and the 600 comma 600 is the window size and then over here in the display dot set caption i'm just basically setting the title of the window then i'll say while true and you might get this kind of recommendation, but you can just go and say, well, true. Then you keep inside an event. So inside that, I'll have a for loop saying for event in pygame dot event dot get dot event. dot get and then inside that what you what you're gonna go and keep in is if event dot type equal equals and then you say quit all in uppercase and then you say pygame dot quit then you say exit so in short what this for loop does is that it just checks if you have pressed on the minimize or the exit on the window. 
What if I go and run this? There will be a blank window and you can see that I can exit out and minimize if I go in. Exit, then again it's gonna go and stop. That is what it is. Now let's learn to draw some basic shapes using Pygame. Oh. And first let's go and make a function called menu let's say. So menu and then um, I'll just go and pass in this and inside that I'll have a while true and again you might get this yes called recommendation you do not want that okay and inside that what you might even just want to keep in is just say piking dot draw dot rect so this draws a rectangle then you say screen which is basically the kind of screen that you want to draw it on then you say comma and then you pass in an rgb value red green and blue so that's why you're gonna go and pass in for example 255 comma zero comma zero which is the red and then comma you're gonna go and pass in the x and y coordinates so let's say the x and y coordinates are for example 0 comma 0 and you also want to keep the width and height of the rectangle so let's say 110 comma 110 and then after this you you again want this condition in there so I'll go and keep this in and at last always what you have to do is that just keep in pygame.display.update this is a main part of pygame that you might want so I'll just go and keep it there now if I go and just run it And now, if I go over here, it really won't be there. That's because we did not do the pygame.display.update over here. So I'll just go down here and say pygame.display.update. Now, again, this function was just made, so we have to call it. Let's say menu. Now run it. So now you can see that the rectangle shows up. That is how you draw a rectangle. Now let's learn how to draw a line. So for drawing a line, let, we have to say pygame.draw.line. And inside that, what you're going to keep in is screen because we're drawing on the same window. Then you're going to go and keep in the RGB value, for example, white, so 255, 255, 255, which is the white RGB color. Then what you want is the X and Y conditions, so let's say we're going to keep 300, 300. Then you have another set of X and Y positions, let's say 400, 400. And the reason why we're using this is because for the line we're gonna have an x and y position which is just like the coordinates and you can imagine that 300 comma 300 is a starting point and 400 comma 400 is the ending point so we also need to know the ending point that's why we have two x and y values and then you say the thickness let's say it's five Now if I go here, you're going to see that it's still not there, but it will come up, so. And that is probably just because we did not stop the previous program. And you can see that now there's a white line from here to here. 
So that is how we draw the most basic shapes. Now let's learn how to draw uh, an image or paste an image using Pygame. So for this, we're gonna say Pygame dot image dot load. But first, we have to make a variable. So let's say let's say up arrow equals. I'm gonna say Pygame dot image dot load. And then inside that, I'm gonna go and pass in the image that I have, which is in the directory, so png slash up dot png. Now, the reason why it might not work for you is because you haven't downloaded a file called up dot png. You have to have the file downloaded, then only you can paste the image. Then I'll say screen dot blit, and inside that I'll keep an up arrow comma and the x and y coordinates for example let's say it's 200 comma 200 now if i run it you can see that it's there but it's too big you might notice so what if you want to make an image smaller well the solution for that is that you're just gonna have to go in the next line and keep in up arrow equals and then say and then you say pygame dot transform dot roto zoom and then inside that you're gonna keep in the image that you want so you say so you're gonna say up arrow comma then you say the angle that you want so we want to keep it the same so we say zero comma and we're gonna keep in for example 0 0.05 now if i run it it will be way smaller so you can see that now there's the arrow over there but it is way smaller than before so that is how you can resize your images so so today what we might want to just make is a function but before that we're gonna go and make in some lists so let's say list one equals and we're gonna say we're gonna have an SDR value and also we might want to open up our code so I'll just go over here and say punk and over here I'm gonna run it So this is probably something that we might want to make so we were gonna make the screen so so you can see that over here there's the menu and the buttons so that's what we're gonna make today so for that the first list let's say it's gonna be the red player controls as you noticed so let's say red player controls and then the second element is basically the X and Y so let's say 30 comma 20 and then you want the RGB value for that let's say it's red so it is 255 comma 0 comma 0 that is the RGB value now the second list it's going to be for the arrow we're just going to have the x and y coordinates for that so let's say 25 comma 50 comma 25 comma 100 comma 180 so what are all these numbers these two are the x and y positions for the first arrow which is the up arrow and these are the x and y coordinates for the down arrow and this is the angle that we have because we're using the same image but again if you rotate it 180 degrees it's going to be down now if i go and make my list three it equals and i'm gonna go and say up arrow key so up arrow key and then the second value is going to be the x and y which is going to be 60 comma 60 and similarly we want it for the down so let's say list 4 equals and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say down 
arrow key, for example. And let's say for that it's going to be 60, 100. So that is basically the kind of thing that we have. Now this all we were just going and learning our earlier things. So I'll just go and clean it up. And also go and delete this. So yeah, that is basically what we use. Now let's make another function called controls, let's say. So define controls. This is how you make a function. And we're going to pass in the values of list1, comma, list2, comma, list3, comma, list4. Basically what we're doing is that we're just making all of the lists. And inside that, we want the font. So for the font, we're going to have to go and say font equal font dot font and the O is not capital and then we're gonna say the default value which is the kind of font the default one is free sans bold dot ttf so that is a default one however you can download your own font and use it in there and then you say comma 20 which is basically the size that we have and then I'm gonna say text equals font dot render and again this if you have a different variable for this that it this might not work let's say this variable was font text then you can see that there's a yellow kind of underline which represents that there's an error so depending on the variable that you have over here that is what you're gonna keep so if you have font text over here then font text if you have font then over here will be font so I'll keep it font for now Inside the render, I'm going to keep in list1 of 0, which is basically the first element, red player controls. And the reason why I'm saying 0 is because every every list, it starts with an element of 0, and then it goes on. So I'll say list1 of 0, comma, false, which represents that we do not have any rectangle around our text. However, if you want one, then you will say true and pass in some other arguments. Then comma list one of three, which is basically the fourth element. And the fourth element is basically this RGB, which is red. Then after that, we're going to have to blit it. So I'll say screen dot blit. And inside the screen dot blit, I'll say text as the variable. And I'll say comma. Inside, I'll say list one of one, comma list one of two. So what are these? These are basically the X and the Y that we have. This one just shows up the text on the screen also. So this is how we can show a text. This is how we can do it. So we're done with that part. Now we're gonna go and say arrow key B equals, we're gonna say pygame.image.load. And inside, I'll say, png slash and I'll say up dot png so that is just the add of the arrow so it just lets add the arrow and then after that I'll say arrow key equals and I'm gonna say pygame dot transform form dot roto zoom and then inside that, I'll keep in, I'll keep in arrow key B, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.05. So again, we're just doing the changing of it. And as you know, that's what we did earlier also. So that just basically shrinks the image to a fit accordingly. And then after that, we're just going to have a screen dot blit. And inside the blip, we'll keep an arrow key, comma, and I'm going to keep in the list 2 this time, because we're using that for our x and y coordinates of the arrows. And I'm going to say list 2 of 0, 
and I'll keep in comma outside so comma list two of one so that basically this will just display the arrow on the screen and after that I'm gonna have another kind of arrow key so this time I do not have to really load it because we already have it loaded so I'll say arrow key equals and I'll say pygame dot transform dot rotozoom and inside that what we're gonna pass in is arrow key D we're using the same image and comma list two of four so the list two of four is basically the fifth element and again as I said this is just going to be the down arrow so we already did it for the up arrow with these three lines now we want it for the down arrow also so that's why for the down arrow we have list two of four so that basically just flips the image which is a down arrow which is a 180 degrees angle then comma I'm gonna say 0.05 we're shrinking it again and then this is the down arrow key rotate also and then it's after that I'm just going to say screen dot blit and inside that I will just keep in the arrow key comma then I'm going to go and just keep in the list two of and I'll say two because that's for the second one and then comma list two of and I'll say three so that just blitz to display the down arrow on the screen and after that we've already created the rep player controls and the up and down arrow keys for that now what we want to do is show up that this is the up arrow key if you want to go up and down arrow key if you want to go down. So for that we're going to say again text and then we're going to say equals font dot render and inside I will keep in list three of zero. So that is again this up arrow key. So that's the text, comma false, which is without the rectangle, comma, and I'm gonna keep in 255, comma 255, comma 255. So that is basically the RGB color for the white. So that is the control write up for the up arrow key. Next, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to have another screen dot blit. So screen dot blit, and inside that I'm gonna go and keep in text the text that I had comma and I'll say list three inside the tuple so list three of one comma outside list three of two so that's again the x y coordinates which is 60 and 60 and that again it just blitzed to display the text on the screen now what we're going to do is that uh, we'll just copy paste this but the difference is that we're going to use it for the down arrow and for the down arrow we're using the list for if you just go and look down we have the down arrow key in there so I'll say list four zero and I'll say list four of one and I'll say list four of two so that is what we're using so that is all good and that's the controls function. Now what we're gonna have to do is that we're just gonna go and take this off and I'll just go and delete it. And now let's go and run it. But before that, what we're gonna have to do is go and just call the function. So that's why what we're gonna do is we're after setting all of these things, we're going to say control, and then inside I'm going to pass in list one, comma list two, comma list three, comma list four. Now let's run it. So you can see that now the red player controls are there, and you can see that it shows up the up arrow key, down arrow key, and 
So now we also want it for the blue. So for the blue, what we're gonna do is that I'll just copy this over here. I'll highlight it first. Control C, Control V. Now the different values that we're gonna go and set is instead of red player controls, I'm gonna set it blue player controls. And then again, we're gonna go and call it after this. Say controls of list one comma list two comma list three comma list four but this time we're passing in the new value so actually what we're going to pass in is that the x position for that will be 350 because we're using it for the right side then we're going to pass in let's say as a blue which is going to be this so that is the rgb value for the blue next we're going to pass it in for the arrows so for that we're going to say 350 comma 50 comma 350 since we have the same x position and again we're going to have 180 and now we're not going to have up arrow key because we have different controls for the blue player so we're going to go and keep in the w key so w key and the down arrow, we're going to keep it the S key. So, S key. And we might as well also want to change the X position. So, the X position will be 380. And it will be the same over here. 380. So, now let's run it. So now you can see that it does the blue player controls, the W key, S key, and it also has the red player controls. So that all works. Now we will just go and keep in the buttons. So for that, first what we will do is I'll say pygame.draw.rect. Inside that, I'll keep in screen, comma, and I'll say 0, 255, comma, 0. So that is the RGB value for the green. And next, I'm going to keep in comma outside of that. So the next thing that we might even want to keep in is the X and Y. So we're going to go and keep in 150 comma 300. So that is the X and Y that we're using over there. And then we also want the width and height, so we'll say, for example, 110, comma, 110. And I'll have one more. There. And I'll just copy-paste this thing. And I'll just highlight it first. And this time I'll keep the X position. As 350, so it's 350, and the Y will be 300. Also. So that is what we have for that. Now we also have to create the text. So for that, I'm just gonna say font equals pygame dot font dot font, and inside that, I'm just gonna go and pass in the same thing, free sans bold dot ttf and then outside i'm gonna go pass in 45 because we want a different size next i'm gonna have the render as text equals font dot render and i'll pass in play and then comma font, because we don't want a rectangle comma and I'll pass in 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the black. And then I'll say green dot blip. And I'll say the dot in there. Real quick. And then I will go and pass in text. Comma. And then I'll pass in comma 155 comma 320. So that is basically the X and Y for the text. And I'll just 
copy paste this for the, our second one. So over here, I'm just going to change the play to a quit. And over here, I'll pass the values as 355 instead. And then I'll pass it 320. So that is for those things. Now we might even just want to run it. So now, if I run it, you can see that there's the red player controls, blue player controls, and the two buttons of the play and quit. Now, we might even want to have some table. So what I will do is that after this, I will have a pygame.draw dot line and I'll keep in screen comma and I'll say 255 comma 255 comma 255 which is the white color and then it's after that I'll pass in the x and y which is 0 comma 45 and then I'll say comma again and I'll say 600 comma 45 so that is the x and y for the ending and starting and i might even want to increase the thickness so i'll say two and i'll just copy paste this line so control c control v control v okay and now the x and y positions will change so this will be 300 comma zero zero and this will be 300 from a 150 and for the third one i'm just gonna go and pass in zero comma 150 and then i'll pass in 600 comma 150 so now if I go and run it and see my Pygin window, you can see that now it draws uh, some kind of a table. So now the menu looks like that. So we're done with the menu, but now if I click on play and quit, nothing really just happens. So that's why now I'm gonna go and in the pygame.event.get, which is the for loop, Inside that, what I'm going to keep in is that I'll say elif and I'm going to say event dot type and I'll say equal equals pygame dot mouse button down. So it's right there, mouse button down and event dot button equal equals one so we're checking if the mouse is down and if it is then i'll have an if condition saying if 150 is lesser than or equal to event dot pause of zero and that is lesser than or equal to 260 and i'll keep that outside okay. 260 so then I'll have an and 300 is lesser than or equal to event dot pos of one and outside that I'll keep it lesser than equal to 400 so in short what this means is that if you have pressed the the kind of play button then you will perform the specific tasks. So this basically checks that if you have clicked the mouse down and also I'm checking if I have pressed the play button or I have clicked on the entire play button. So we're checking if, it, if we have clicked on the square. And if we have, then I'm just gonna say screen.fill and I'll say, Z zero comma zero comma zero so it just basically fills the screen with the black that's what it does 
and then I'll say return. So what the return does is that it basically just just goes out of the window or the function actually, not the window, and it also just clears the screen. That is what the screen dot fill does. And if you have pressed the quit button, then what it does. So for that, I, I'll have an if 350 is less than or equal to event dot pos of zero is lesser than or equal to 450 and 300 is less than or equal to event dot pos of one is lesser than or equal to 400. So this just checks if I have clicked on the quit button and if I have I'm just going to say pygame dot quit and then I'll say exit. So that is what this does. So if I run this now and see my pygame window and I'll click on play. Now it will go to the gaming window but we haven't made the game yet so we can program that. And if I run it again and click on the quit window over here then it's just going to quit up so that is what it basically does so now if it does that then what we want to do is that we just want to go and make a paddle class so over up at the top we will do that but later first we're just going to go and create a ball so if we, so what we will do in the while loop is that we're basically gonna say pygame dot draw dot circle and then inside that I'm just gonna say screen comma and I'll also pass in the RGB let's say 0 comma 255 comma 0 and then I'll say comma and after that what I will do is that I'm just gonna pass in the x and y and the radius so for those arguments I'll have a different one and then what we might just want to do is that we will keep in the x and y so the x and y let's say 300 comma 300 and then I'll say the radius, for example, which is, let's say, 5. So I'll just go and run my program. Play. And then there's the ball. So in the next video, we will just go and complete the rest of the game. Till then, see you later!